No chance to a big ass competition. But let me start this. It's it's as if Madar Mark. He's a completely just utterly just mock everybody. Like for instance, everybody in Naruto world is ants compared to him. He he is alive just because he's just that damn good. He is like the Naruto that Naruto is supposed to be. The one that don't need clone. The one that don't need one tr shot, one trick moves to uh, survive. He is over the top, the most badass ninja that ever graced the planet. Because I want to tell you why. He could do Susano O without no fucking eyes. I thought you need a Margaro Saringa for that. He said, haha, fuck your rules, Kesey. First, fuck the rule that you established already. Two. Two, 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 two. To get hit with an orange slot of a barrage attack by the goddamn tail beast. They were praying Madara Pinball out there. They were knocking around like he was a fucking pinball. Just knocking him uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then the Sukaku and Garo combination of the Super Saiyan Barrier of Zeus who had trapped him and crushed him. He just used the sound of O to get out of there. What? Sure, most of you fanboys are going to stare at it like, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Me, looking logically at thinking about the plot and thinking about everything that's going on, I was uh, thinking rational about this bullshit. Like, the fuck? Shouldn't he be dead? I mean, he is human right now. I don't think a human should be able to survive that much of a beating. I mean, they fucked him up. They were being a, a poor, blind, helpless, disability man. And they was just beating the shit out of him like, come on now, man. He have disability. Start hitting him. He disabled. Start hitting him. Why? He can't see. And then... He got up like it wasn't nothing. Like, seriously? Is you is you from the DBZ right now? Is you like the blind Goku? The shit was just ridiculous. Sure, I was amazed by what, what actually happened and all the action that was going on. But as a storyteller myself, I looked past the action and looked directly at the plot and the character. And then you look at the logic behind what they're doing. They were breaking a lot of logic there. Honestly, he should not got back up. He should have been gone. He should have been done for right there. But Gara crushed him under that sand. That should have been the, that should have been the end of him. Sasana O. How the fuck do you do that? You ain't even got no eyes. I understand he shot like a super fire, supernova, dragon frame Zeus with all that motherfucker. That'd be a cold but. Sasana O with no eyes? Seriously? Honestly, that make no fucking sense. I don't care how much you guys want to argue. I don't care what you guys want to say about that. That was just ridiculous. Ridiculous to the fucking fullest. Me and my boy Hakiri were talking about this on PSN. You know my homeboy that we already talked about, um, Naruto. And, um, and this shit was crazy. Where he carry that's this shit would care this shit was crazy it was crazy to the fullest I was just looking at it like is you serious how and then not the missing when Zasu came out the ground of white Zasu again on the Rene guy he just took the first of all he just snatched Zasu arm off and regrew his arm that he lost in that arm slot instantly got his arm back and he place the eye in his head the way they take eyes out and put them back in their head is just ridiculous because once you remove this from the little thing that connect in the back of your brain or whatever I don't think that eye is useful but you know what this you know what I ain't gonna be able to throw logic there either and no no his his right where well, his right eye his right eye was taken from where well, actually Nagato had his right and left eye. When Abito killed Kana, he took both of the eyes back. He just put the left of his head and placed the right eye in his lair. And I guess the Zetsu with the retreat, the eye gave back to him. Abito still got the other one. And this is just crazy. I mean, whoever will just blown away and say this was a good chapter, it's just a fanboy. I just don't see any wrong with Naruto. Well, I look at this. Now, I'm not. I'm a Naruto fan. I'm a Naruto hater. Well, I look at something like this, 
I got this this unbiased attitude with it. And I see the wrong, and I see the right. The right, the combination with the um, Bijou did beat the shit out of him. That was so cold. Naruto came in, jumped in, beat his ass too. Amazing. I was just blown away by that. And then the fuck ups. He getting up and doing Sasano. Oh, well, no eyes. Seriously. This is going to be a one hell of a prediction coming up next. Oh my God. Anyway, you guys, tell me what you guys think. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe and comment. Tell me what you guys think. You think I'm wrong at being a one side jackass? Let me know. You think I'm right? You completely acutely agree with me? Let me know. But I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna bullshit just because I'm a fan of Naruto. I see wrong. I see wrong, and that's why I read in Bleach again. This is the reason why I went back to Bleach. I left Bleach because that whole Eisen thing with Eisen. The whole Eisen fight was so anti climatic I just said, you know what? Fuck Bleach. After the whole full bringer saga, then like oh, the, the end of the the uh, final Holy War. Episode, I mean, uh, ch uh, chapter 480. I stopped not reading it again. And that will come into my channel next week. Bleach will be reviewed. But like I said, have a good one. This shit is crazy. This is real crazy. I'm about to go to JBDE Tree out there and review everybody else's review and see what the hell they were talking about. And I will be commenting too.